everyone, welcome to the weekly vlog. Today is Monday. I'm just getting ready to film a couple videos. So I did my hair, I straightened it, which is something I haven't done in so long. Actually, tomorrow I'm driving to Germany and I'm gonna get a haircut there. So I think tomorrow I'll get it like a little bit of a trim, just get the cut, cut like the dead, um, dead split ends cut off and just freshen up the layers and stuff. My skin has been so freaking clear. Like the last few weeks, I haven't even had like a pimple, a blemish, anything. And now on Saturday is like this big event that I'm part of and I'm probably gonna have to be walking on the red carpet and all this stuff. And I have a freaking pimple coming up here. How unfair is that? So I just went to the post office and this is crazy. Like I just filmed an unboxing video, I think like last week and I have all these new packages again and I have like three more packages in my um, studio. Yeah, this is like one, like one week ago, I just went through at a pile that stacked up almost the top of this and now I have all these new ones. So I wanna start filming uh, my video and before that I'm just going to make myself a little juice and today I've got carrots, orange, lemon, fennel, beet, and apple. Oh my God, look at this amazing goodness. Mmm, wow, that is so good. I'm going to film actually two new videos for Ringier. So this video, by the way, if you want to see it, it will be in German and it will be available on the Swiss website blick.ch so blick because I'm doing weekly videos there now. Um, it's the biggest sort of Swiss online news portal. They have a, a physical paper like an actual newspaper that you can buy. They also have like a really big online section which is free and I think it's like one of the most visited like news portals in Switzerland if not the most. Der smoky look is jetzt eigentlich fertig. Ich habe das jetzt noch ergänzt mit Wangen Rouge und Bronzer und ein bisschen Highlighter hier. We're starting with a bunch of basics like how to put on foundation, how to do red lips. Um, I did one how to apply false lashes and this one is going to be sort of a more dramatic one which is how to do a classic smoky eye. So I have to come up with some new ideas for the next month. So it's um, one video every Monday at 7 p.m. So it is midnight and every normal person is probably in bed sleeping and I am not because I just finished filming three videos and um, two of them are from Ringye and one is from my German channel. And I'm freaking hungry. I haven't really had dinner today. So this is the rest of the soup, the veggie soup. And I put in like a couple handfuls of spinach right before I heated it up. So now there's spinach in there as well. I shall take off my makeup and go to bed. So I know it's like crazy eating right before bed, but it's all veggies, so it should be okay. Today is um, Tuesday and I am on my way to Germany. Um, but on the way there, I have to make a pit stop at my friend's office. She is going to lend me a really beautiful Alexander McQueen clutch that she has um, for Miss Switzerland. She's at work right now and um, pick that up and then I'm going to continue driving on to Germany. And the city I'm going to in Germany is called Freiburg. This morning, actually, I woke up with like a sore throat. So I think I'm like coming down with a cold, which is awful timing. This morning I just like gargled and stuff and yeah, I just have like sore throat. You know when you swallow it like hurts. Hopefully that's gonna go away um, because I really can't be sick on Saturday. So I have arrived in beautiful Freiburg and behind me I just came from down there and I'm heading now to the place where I get my hair cut. It's not for another 20 minutes but um, on the way I might check out a couple stores. There's actually a DM here, a drugstore. DM, which is like one of the best or biggest drugstores in Germany. Like, I mean, not this particular store, just the chain. Here it is, DM. Let's go inside. And everything is so much cheaper here than in Switzerland. So, like this, I know, this costs 365 euros. This costs like over eight dollars in I think it's like eight bucks in Switzerland, which is crazy. I'm at the hairdresser waiting for my appointment. It's a little bit early. I'm gonna get these layers freshened up. They really need a trim on the bottom. I love it, she does such a good job. If you wanna come here, it's in Freiburg. It's, um, I will put the link, her name is Nana, and she's specialized in these sort of long layer haircuts. The 
store is called Friseur Roth. I'll put the information below if you want to visit her if you're ever here in Germany because she's amazing, does a great job. Okay, so I just got out of the haircut or the hairdressers and I'm just walking along the main street. Um, I love, I absolutely love how she cut it. I think it's really cool. I know people are looking crazy at me. Um, and now I'm super hungry. So there's a, a really cool um, restaurant around here to try and remember where it is. And I'm gonna go check that out. I'll show you guys. I'm just getting so many stairs. It's really funny, actually. I'm just coming up on the main market square. There's a big uh, cathedral here. And this is it's really nice here. And they have market here. I think the market is actually every single day. Here's the market square. There's the cathedral. And I finally found it. It's Der Freiburger. It's kind of a play on words, like, because this place, this place is called Freiburg. And it's a burger joint. <laughs> So I'm at another DM location because I always, when I'm here, I always stock up on those um, beauty blender dupe sponges and they're only available here. It's their like in-house brand and the other store that I went to didn't have them. Oh no. So these are the ones except the purple ones are like bigger than the pink ones and I don't like the size of these are too big. And then they have these baby ones now. And those are too small. So the pink one, they're also out. Well, that is annoying. I am in Bruninger and I kind of fell in love with a coat. I've been looking for like a big sort of bulky coat, but this feels like really good quality. And it's just really sort of loose and spacious. And then this collar, you can either wear it up like I did or it just kind of goes down like that. It's like really nice, kind of undecided because I don't know kind of expensive <laughs> so I have to think about it some more mm, I love this tea store so I'm gonna go in this tea store this is actually one of my favorite tea stores It's really cool as you can like smell and try them all. Knusperzucker, which is like a crunchy sugar. So I'm in the um, candy aisle at Müller and this is what I love about um, German candy. They have so many varieties and they have so many amazing like Christmassy things like Christmas gingerbread and Christstollen, which is like a bready kind of thing. But I'm going to be good and this is all I'm getting. So now I'm going into Butler's, which is a home decor store and they have a bunch of stuff um, for Christmas already. What is this? Attention, please. <laughs> Attention. Attention. That is funny. German people will understand that. This is so cute. These are like beautiful new books. These are the fairy tales of Brother Grimm and the fairy tales of Hans Christian Andersen. Look at them. Beautiful illustrations. It's like the classic illustrations that they've made new. This is a beautiful book. And then this one is Hans Christian Andersen. Däumelinchen. Thumbelina, by the way. I might get one of these. These are beautiful. I just got home. It's 8 p.m. and I'm at home finally. And I didn't film anymore because honestly, I'm feeling quite sick now. Um, like sore throat and feeling just not, just not feeling well, feeling dizzy. And honestly, the drive home was a real struggle for me. It's a quite a long drive. I really can't be sick on Saturday. Like even if I'm sick, I have to go. So. Um, I really can't can't just cancel that. I did get a few things. I got a lot of tea actually So I think I'll actually make myself a hot tea and then go to bed. Hello everyone. Today's Wednesday and welcome to my mouse pad 
Why are you looking at my mouse pad? It's because I don't want to be on camera. I am not going to film today because I'm just sitting here editing. I look like crap. I'm not feeling well. I have a sore throat. I've been gargling. I'm probably just going to be editing today and taking naps and drinking tea. I still have to edit because I have to edit these videos. Hi guys. So today is um, Thursday. If my, if my hair looks gray, I put in a ton of um, <laughs> dry shampoo this morning. Now I'm sitting here in my computer and I'm editing the new videos for Ringy that need to get done. I need to finish editing two videos of those today. So I've got the raw files here. And this is going to be the next video for Ringy. So it is evening now. It's 5.30. I'm getting pretty hungry, so I'm just going to have an early dinner. So my fridge has been newly cleaned. Look at this. Oh my God, it is so freaking clean. But there is almost nothing to eat in here. That in the bottom is just a little bit of hummus. And I've got condiments. I've got some like um, diet pudding cups. And then I have some lettuce and some veggies on the bottom. And then on the side, it's just like more condiments. So row everything together, mishmash of things I've got left over. So I've got um, two eggs and I put a bunch of feta cheese in here to make myself like a feta omelet. And then I'm going to wrap that up in these um, burritos and just put some hummus and like lettuce and the rest of these veggies and then tomatoes and stuff, veggies, um, and then some egg on there. By the way, this hummus is homemade. I actually posted a recipe for my hummus like a long time ago. Julia's Life Channel or The Third Shift. Curious, you can check it there. All right, so here's my omelet. Wow, that looks good. Tomato. Coriander, which I love coriander. I could eat coriander every single day. And then I've got some of these bean sprouts. I don't know if these are still good, but. Pepper. Oh, I think it's a lot. Someone on Snapchat asked me how I close my wraps. Because I put a, a ton of stuff in here, right? So I leave kind of a gap on one end, which I kind of forgot to do now. And then I fold up that gap. And then you fold in the corners. So you need both hands for this. Fold in that side. And then you fold in the other side. And then that's how I eat it. So it's 8.30. I completely finished editing all the videos and have sent them off. I also actually just bought a flight to go to Canada for two weeks in January, um, which is something that I've been wanting to do for a while. And I mean, my family came to the wedding, but that was like in May. So it's already like been so long since I've seen my family and January is still a while away. So I haven't been to Vancouver actually in like what, two years now, I think. So it's been a while and I want to make sure my brushes are clean. And I actually have a video on how I clean my brushes. I use um, a soap, like a special kind of soap. This is a Savon de Marseillaise. I have a whole video on that. And this is the last pre-show that they have with all the candidates. I've watched, there's four pre-shows. This is the last one, so I'm gonna watch that. So I'm currently in my studio because I am already picking out now what make I'm gonna wear on Saturday and this is going to be my winning combination. I'm going to be wearing a matte red lip by Illamasqua called Man Eater. I love the name of that as well. And I'm going to combine it with this um, lip pencil by Makeup Forever and it's the Aqua Lip 8 see and this matches that one really well. So I've packed all my makeup and beauty products that I need and like the rest of the clothes and my outfit and stuff. I'm gonna pack all that tomorrow. So here's the, um, like all the time slots. So we have to be there actually. I have to be at the hotel in Basel. It's gonna be a freaking long day. I'm gonna have to be at the hotel like at around 10. Like there's lots of things, but there's gonna be a dress rehearsal. And then there's going to be a break obviously to get changed, have food, um, hair and makeup and all that stuff. And then we're gonna be picked up for the red carpet. Then there's gonna be a VIP dinner. After that, they're going to have a fresh up and then there's going to be the show so the show doesn't even start until like quarter past eight that's already like a full day and then after the show um the show ends like i don't know at 11 or something and then there's going to be a party after so i'm, I'm actually going to be on the stage this is going to be on live tv like i am pretty freaking nervous i don't have to do a challenge but they have these like sort of challenges and i have to explain one of the challenges i really hope that um like that's going to be all well and then like there's more information here and then these are all the candidates and these already look familiar to me now because I've watched all the four pre-shows. I'm excited. Obviously this is a really cool thing, but I'm also very, very nervous at this point. Like at first I was like, oh yeah, it'll be really fun. It'll be really cool. But now it's like getting crunch time and I'm like, 
getting more and more nervous. I'm booked in at a hotel and then the next day I actually have a meeting, a business meeting on Sunday, which I still have to prepare for a couple things. So tomorrow is gonna be all prep. So I'm gonna go to bed, get my beauty rest. Hello everyone, today is Friday. I did a bunch of my sort of beauty regime stuff um, in prep for tomorrow. I gave myself a facial, took a shower, washed my hair. Although I might I might take obviously another shower in the morning tomorrow to wash my hair fresh. Um, not gave myself a pedicure yet, but I like slowed off all the dead skin on my feet. You know, one of those like pumice stones and just did sort of like a beauty regimen this morning. I think I'm gonna go grocery shopping because I have absolutely no more food in the house. Also pick up today's issue of Schweizer Illustrierte. I'm going to be in it. So to those of you who live in Switzerland, let me know if you saw it. Yeah, my brushes are dry also in prep for tomorrow, which I washed those yesterday. So I just went to the kiosk and I bought three copies of the Schweizer Illustrierte. This is the one that I'm in because my parents wanted one. I'm gonna bring it to them in Canada and then I want one and I'm just gonna keep one as a spare. I'm actually looking to buy a new vlogging camera and I know that a lot of YouTubers have this one and I also know that a lot of YouTubers, I think, have this one. And I've been kind of looking at reviews on them and the cool thing about this one, like you see the screen, it like pops up in the back like that. Um, so there's a big flip screen. I have to think about it because I mean they're not cheap. This one is this one's really expensive here Hmm, I think that's cheaper online. I didn't buy the camera. There's no return policy This is like really typical in Switzerland if you live in like North America You guys know if you buy like at any sort of these hi-fi stores usually you could return stuff for like 30 days or something No questions asked and here that doesn't really exist at all basically if you buy something, that's it. The only way that you can return stuff is if um, something is wrong, like if it's defective. They don't take back cameras just if you change your mind or if you don't like the quality of it. Which, I mean, I can kind of understand because the prices of electronics are actually really low in Switzerland, so that's how I guess they keep the costs down. On the other hand, of course, it's annoying because these are expensive products and usually you can't even really test them out. I didn't buy it, I don't know. I have to compare online how much the prices are. It would be nice to have it for tomorrow, but I'm not gonna be rushed into purchasing a $500 camera just because the guy wants to make a sale. Here is the article about me in the Schweizer Illustrierte, the one that I bought at the kiosk. So it's on page 75. And there's a whole section here on the Miss Switzerland event. And so they've kind of coupled it with that, which I think is actually really genius. Here are the photos. This is done in my house. So it's a people magazine. So they always like to take pictures of like people's houses and kind of more of a personal note. And they've included my Halloween video. I love that they included this picture. I sent them a bunch of pictures and I love that they included this one because I think it's like one of my best pictures I ever took. And then this is in my studio. Can you see? I'm like getting ready. In my living room, oh my God. I think that's a really nice picture. I'm gonna ask the photographer if he can maybe send me that. I'm going to make such an epic juice right now I've got oranges apples carrots beet celery and ginger and lemon <laughs> look at this it's like a rainbow of colors that you all can mix together oh my god yummo so I'm going to give myself a mani pedi and these are the colors that I'm kind of deciding between. I haven't really picked one yet. What color do you think my dress is? <laughs> you will find out. So I'm just packing up the rest of my stuff and all of a sudden I just started feeling so sick again. I think I wasn't like totally fine today. I kind of felt fine, but I was obviously still battling the virus because now I just, oh my God, I feel like feel dizzy and tired. Oh, this is not good. So I'm gonna finish packing. I've got most of my stuff laid out already and I'm really glad that I packed my makeup and beauty stuff already yesterday because that takes me the longest. Go to bed really early so I can get up tomorrow and hopefully feel rested so that I'll hopefully be Fingers crossed that I won't feel sick tomorrow. So the Saturday vlog is gonna come up after this one. So I'm gonna do like the Saturday, the Miss, Miss Switzerland as a whole vlog in itself and that'll come up I think next, next month or next week. So I will see you I guess on Sunday. Good morning everyone, it's uh, Sunday. <laughs> my voice is hoarse. <coughs> oh my God, yesterday was so crazy and like I think I just lost my voice because I'm not 
not really feeling that like perfect yet. So I think due to my cold and like yesterday and stuff, I just lost my voice. Yeah, I had breakfast down at the hotel, it was good. And the hotel's actually really nice downstairs. I forgot to take my camera down, but um, uh, I was reading through the papers, all the articles um, of Miss Switzerland. I'm actually in some of the articles, which is funny. <laughs> Start to get ready, and then I actually have a meeting, business meeting with someone. I'm like still really tired. I had a lot of fun yesterday. It was a really, really amazing night. I had like an amazing night. Um, if you followed me on Snapchat, then you already got some behind the scenes because um, I snapped a lot that day. And I think that's what I'm gonna do from now on at events and stuff. I'm just gonna use Snapchat. So follow me on Snapchat if you haven't already. Hey everyone, it is Sunday evening and I totally uh, didn't vlog the rest of Sunday because um, I our business meeting went on really long like until about three o'clock. By the time I got home, it was like 4.30 or something. And I was exhausted. I came home, fell on the couch and fell asleep. I was so tired. And I'm just making my quick salad, which um, has baby kale in it, which I found recently new at the um, grocery store. So next week, I will show you the backstage footage of all the stuff from Miss Switzerland. I'll show you everything that I did that day because there's a lot of footage. I will see you guys later. Bye.